about the president's sober choices now about Iraq. The administration thinks Maliki should go. The administration is pondering airstrikes. But as Washington debates this, it often seems like we're relitigating 2003 uh, more than talking about the president's choices now, in part because a lot of the Bush officials who were involved in the Iraq war to begin with are coming forward, including Dick Cheney. We talked about this yesterday morning, who wrote an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal criticizing President Obama, saying essentially that President Obama had lost Iraq. What well, came up at the White House briefing yesterday, Jay Carney's last day, listen here. Uh, says, rarely has a U.S. president been so wrong about so much at the expense of so many uh, talking about the situation in Iraq and in the Middle East generally. Which president was he talking about? Um, <laughs> I believe little deadpan Jay Carney there trying to turn it back on George W. Bush. And then Dick Cheney was on Megyn Kelly's show on Fox News last night, and she put the question to him. She said, why should people listen to you? A lot of people think you are wrong, Mr. Cheney. You were an architect of a war that cost 4,500 U.S. lives, cost more than a trillion dollars, she said. I think the cost is up to two trillion. But Dick Cheney said, no, he's still right. No, I just fundamentally disagree, Reagan. We had a situation where... If we, after 9-11, we were concerned about a follow-on attack that would involve not just uh, airline tickets and box cutters as the weapons, but rather something far deadlier, perhaps even a nuclear weapon. Is this helpful? Um, does it help the country? Does it help the president and Washington, and more importantly, the country, which is very reluctant to do anything, uh, sort through what the president should do here when we're relitigating? Re no, it doesn't bring any clarity to the debate, but it certainly helps the administration. Uh, it, I, if, you've got to wonder if the Cheneys are, are on the Obama payroll. They really, you know, <laughs> no. giving. <laughs> I'm thinking they're. I'm not wondering I'm not if they're on the Obama payroll, are, but, but I get you know, your point. You know, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. This, is, right. this is like a, you know a, 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 an in-kind contribution right. to to the administration to have the the, the the Cheneys back on the scene and a lot of the other uh, proponents of the Iraq War. But this really does cloud the debate. This is a different debate. It right. doesn't. It isn't the same debate as we were having in. 2003 about whether to invade Iraq. This is a much more nuanced discussion. Nobody's talking about a new invasion. Nobody's talking about boots on the ground. And so I do think that it, 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 actu it actually clouds it and makes it more difficult to understand the choices that actually are in play here.